First, they came for the omnisexuals, and I said nothing, for I was not an omnisexual. Then they came for the abrosexuals, and again I said nothing, for I was not that either. And then they came for the asiflux, the demigender, the trigender, the gray sexual, the two spirit, the pangender, and again, I said nothing, for I was none of those things. But then, oh God, the day arrived when they came for the maverick, and I cried out for help, but there were none left to help me. All the non-males and non-females were gone, and I was left at the mercy of cisgendered people. Dear gods and goddesses who strangely are male and female gendered only, save me. Folks, it's come to my attention that in the broad and ever-broadening world of gender, that Microsoft, in its infinite and holy wisdom, has decided that the LGBTQIA plus pride flag will now represent, wait for it, wait for it, 40 different downtrodden communities. Yes, the multicolored flag, which once stood for the bigotry and hatred of the gay and lesbian community and their clear exclusion of all members of the trans community. Now that flag stands for something special, something real, something called for in our time. That's right. This is a flag specifically designed to keep growing in its design, showing off the unity that we can attain when we all subdivide ourselves into whichever colorful spot lights up for us on the intersectional identity pinwheel. It represents the eternal entropy of individualism whilst paradoxically fracturing the people. It represents into tinier and tinier factions of fatuous identity. It's the digital fabric equivalent of turning an ADHD-riddled kid loose with a label maker. In short, it's perfect. Chris, show us that flag, won't you please? <laughs> Dadgummit, Chris, this is not the time to make fun. Just because this flag looks like what you used to see after the TV station went off the air at the end of the night doesn't mean we have to make fun of it. Just because it looks like someone stepped on your phone right at the moment you were getting to the really good part of the tentacle hentai video doesn't mean you got to poke fun. Incidentally, poke fun was the name of the tentacle hentai video I was watching. The transgender community is beset upon all sides, folks. The very nature of reality itself pushes up against its edges. Nature abhors a vacuum, and there are very few things in the universe more vacuous than non-existent things trying their damnedest to exist. So here at last, Microsoft gives us a broken field of dreams to represent that great field of broken dreams, a kinetic kaleidoscope of love and acceptance, a sharp and jagged fruited plane. Folks, in all Honestly, they've swayed me. Keep it coming, Microsoft. We're standing on the precipice of quantum computing, so we can't be far off from reaching infinite memory storage. You can make this thing as big and diverse as you want and screw the inconsistencies and outright contradictions. You, oh transgender community, are not so slowly refashioning the world in your own image and it looks exactly like this. There is no discernible pattern, no direction in which your movement goes except for the ever-expanding and utopic fractal set. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a form of tyranny that is perhaps more dangerous than any other, and that is the tyranny of mind that seeps into the floating neurons of those who would subjugate and immiserate themselves in the search for some feeling, some spiritual salve on the other side when you've walked through the raging fires of self-created and self-perpetuated victimhood. Tender are the feelings indeed of those for whom this flag stands, and you have to imagine it won't be more than five or ten minutes before someone raises an arm high into the air, wafting pit fumes out of the world, and claiming that their marginalized group is not represented by the Microsoft flag. No worries, Microsoft will say. We made it modular so you can add your distinct group to the flag. Wait, you expect me to do work? Whatever could be more triggering than that. Look, I'm sure one of these days the LGBTQIA plus community will come after me and try to cancel my <laughs> There it is, folks. There it is. Uh, we made it work, Jennings. Kayla. Oh, boy, howdy. Good work on the directorship of this show. <laughs> Are you represented on the flag, Sarah? I don't really know. Is there, I don't think uh, so. Is there a freak flag out there in the tyranny of I'm the sure trannies? I'm sure there is a freak flag. It's not <laughs> There mine. it is. There's the flag Microsoft came up with. It's just so hideous. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense, right? 